just my video blanket. That's just how it is. This is my video blanket. So yeah, personal heaven, personal hell. So when I came back to South Africa, see sometimes I would like to share with you how I see the world right now. It's impossible. I cannot record it in that detail. I mean I can try but it's just beautiful. But that's also when you surround yourself with beauty. like. Being in a city right now just wouldn't have the same kind of effect. It would just be dirty and filthy. And now, heaven and hell is a place in yourself. I've said that. I'm stretching it out now. Heaven and hell is a place in yourself. Because I also want you to think about these things by yourself. Like, I can't just go around giving you all the answers all the time. No, you should be working on these things. You should be asking yourself these questions because that's what I've been doing and that's also why I can talk about it. I can talk about it because I continuously gather information and allow my mind to process it. The analytical mind, that's just what it is. And now, the thing is, I discovered heaven as a place in myself and I realized this is what the exactly the feeling that I have being here right now I had when I smoked cannabis in Africa so it wasn't Africa no it was me all the time cannabis just showed me this is how heaven is and doing it in nature just opens up the portal ah oh, this is something you know this is what I want to have all the time and now I have it although I drink alcohol uh, no, I don't drink alcohol. Although I drink uh, coffee, and although I drink, I don't drink alcohol. But I have managed also to just be in that place while drinking alcohol. Because when you have this place in your heart, it doesn't matter what you do or what you take. You just are that. You are love, and you emanate it. And that's then what a guru would be. He has love in his heart. And everybody who comes close to him feels like that too. So right now, when I do these things here, I feel in heaven. And most of my day, I feel like this. But not always. Sometimes I just feel like I'm in hell again. And that's just my way to work myself out of it. You know, it's quite astonishing to realize that you have your own personal heaven all the time with you. So why are you in hell then? Because you think heaven should be something else. You know, because you are being told that, you know, you will be in heaven once you die. But that's false. It's truly false. Because heaven is there all along. But you create your own hell by living in sin, by lying, by cheating, by watching porn, all these kind of things. It just creates your own personal hell. Because it's a sin to waste your life's energy on things like lies and greed and all that kind of stuff. So it's just, you know, a way to figure out where to put my foot and what decisions to make to get to your heaven again. And that's just when I realized, right, it wasn't South Africa and it wasn't the cannabis. No, it was just South Africa and the cannabis that showed it to me. But I didn't need to go there and do these things. But certainly, leaving your zone, your area where you normally are, and going to another place because you don't have all these association with that place yet, right? The reason why I needed to leave my hometown was because that was hell for me because I was associating being treated like shit all the time never taken seriously like none of me 
Not my feelings, not my anger, not my tantrum, not my sadness. Nobody ever took that serious. It's like being smiled upon. It's just, uh, that's hell. So what did I do? Somehow I found myself in South Africa and I realized, well, after a while that became hell too. But I left a bit of the, the, it there, right? I left some of my hell there. Because I did some healing. And I discovered new things about me that I didn't know before. And that's why going to new places is important. Traveling is important. But also, after a while, to just settle down. Because if you keep running away, then you keep running away from heaven. Or realizing that heaven is where you are and not where you are not. But of course, if you think, you know, heaven is always somewhere else, it's probably, you just keep carrying your hell around with you. Because you just try to look for the nice things. Instead of just looking at the bad stuff for a while. And that's what I've been doing. I look deep into the shit that I had inside of me. And I found some kind of light. And now I'm trying to share it. And that's sometimes easy and sometimes not. Certainly right now it's somewhat easy. But coming here was still hard. Because that's the thing, like, if you're in hell right now, then you never have the feeling you deserve to go to nature. Because then you hate yourself. And then you don't want to heal. And you don't want to experience love. Then you just want to experience hate. Because that's how you see the world, as a hateful place. But that's then your association with the world and with life. So you have to make new experiences to disassociate from it and to maybe sometimes just lay there and go within yourself and reconnect with yourself and to the side that loves. And then you open up more. And then suddenly everything is okay. And now, I want to do something else. <laughs>